Well, welcome to episode number 11 of Running Rants. Today we're just around my neighborhood, Stanford, Connecticut. We're gonna go for a little jog. It's not gonna be a long one today, but I wanted to talk about a topic. It's a little more of a serious topic, but something that came up in my life recently that I thought I'd talk about, wrongfully accusing somebody. It could be in the workplace, it could be just randomly, but wrongfully accusing somebody. Let's get right into it. Let's go for the run. All right, well, let's just jump right into it. So there are three stories I want to tell you guys about the topic. Now, I'll save the one that happened most recently for last, but there's one that just happened more recently to somebody that I know, and then there's one that has happened to uh, a family member of mine, and then just kind of an all-encompassing thing that is on my mind at times. So three different things. Let's start with the one that has affected my family. So like I said, we're talking about wrongfully accusing someone. Just somebody, for whatever reason, could be for anything. The ones I'm talking about are more of a misconduct. And the one that pertains to my family is that I had an uncle who worked in the school system and he so worked there for years. I mean, he showed a lot of passion in it. I saw him around the holidays the most and when I saw him, it was the thing he talked about all the time. He enjoyed it, he was good at his craft and he spent a lot of time obviously schooling to get into this position. So at the school, when he was there, he, uh, like I said, he was there for quite a while. What ended up happening is that, I forget the story in great detail, but more or less either one of the kids complained or talk to their parents and the parents complain about some, you know, misconduct, some, uh, something going on in the workplace at school. And one thing led to another. It was wrongfully, he was being wrongfully accused, but ended up getting kicked out of his job and uh, being blacklisted more or less as a, as a teacher. So that all happened. How that happened, I'm not sure of the details. Like I said, could have been a kid saying something out of conduct, or sorry, out of context. A parent could have taken that out of context. Who knows? But the point is, he lost his job, my uncle. Time went on where, obviously that's something he really liked and just couldn't get back into it after you get that label on you, uh, wrongfully so. And after some time, he ended up committing suicide. It's as sad as it can be, but being wrongfully accused was just something that, ruined his life. Now that was the first story. The second story, or just kind of thing that I want to talk about is how I myself work with kids. And I have worked with kids ever since I graduated college in 2015, um, exclusively with kids. Now, this is something that's been on my mind after hearing about my uncle and just being in this craft that you have to be very careful. You know, I'm a very open guy, very kind and friendly. You could ask any of my co-workers or the kids I work with. It's not, I mean, obviously there's a line you can't cross, but it's just, there's, a good example would be, I give, you know, I'm a hugging type of person. See somebody, one of the kids, hey, how's it going? Big hug. All it takes is for a kid to be like, he touched my lower back. Something along those lines, which either it's just a lie or could have just been a hug. And could be taken out of place. And obviously, more often than not, the kid's word will be taken before the adults. It's something that is always on my mind when I work with kids. You know, you go into the bathroom with the kid, make sure the door's cracked or there's two people in there. And, you know, all these precautions, you know, are to stop those people who actually would do this. Let's not forget there's people who, you know, aren't too wrongfully accused, but rightfully accused. However, a person in my position, it really kind of, you know, kind of dampers the experience and makes you really feel like you're walking on eggshells the entire time. So there's that. Um, and like I said, that's not so much a story. It's just like something that's on my mind every day. The third story, the one that truthfully got me thinking more so about this and made me want to share this with you guys. So this one happened about a week or two ago. And what it was is at my uh, at my job, I work at a video game store. We had, I was there all day, 
me and one other person. I was at the cash register and my friend, co-worker friend, is in the back and is shipping stuff to send out. Now the door to the back, this is a one big room. Uh, the whole store is one big room. In the back is the door, it was open ajar just a little bit and you could see in a little bit, I guess. This is about the end of the day. We're open until six and 5.55 rolls around and two customers come in <laughs> and then a cop comes in. You know, I kind of just thought the cop was gonna buy something to be honest, but uh, he's like, so who was in the back room? And I'm like, oh, it wasn't me. So the other coworker goes into the back and talks with the, the police officer. And when I was with the, the customer, I was there for like a half hour. So I didn't figure out what happened until a little bit later. But I go to the back after we fully close and I ask my coworker, hey, what's up? He's like, you'll never guess. Not in a million years what just happened. I'm like, what, did someone like happen to steal something? That's weird. Like, you know, we were pretty, you know, our eyes are, we have eyes like hawks. He's like, no. He's like, a girl came in here buying something within the last hour or two, who we think we know who it is, but aren't completely sure. He's like, yeah, that girl who we, who was here, yeah, she, the cop said a girl came in, called her mom to uh, call, or told her mom to call the police to tell the police that she saw somebody touching themselves in the back room. My coworker is like flabbergasted. He's like, how is this even a thing? So the cop comes in and you know, we show, we have cameras everywhere, every inch of this place. We show the cop for the last three hours. Yeah, we're just shipping stuff. And obviously the cop was like apologetic, but what I really am interested about is what if we didn't have those cameras? Or what if we did and well, they, they went out or it was a little bit off and we couldn't find the footage of us. All right, so none of us got in trouble because we weren't doing that and he wasn't doing that in the back. But what ifs? There's this girl, if I had to guess her age, between like 12 and 15, told her mom that one of us were touching ourselves in the back. That would, could easily, if no footage, I honestly feel that they probably would side with the girl. Not just because she's a girl, just in the situation, I feel like they would probably listen to her. I mean, why would you make that up? All right, but that's what this whole video is about. Obviously, you could, can, and will make that up. What reason, I'm not sure. And uh, we were able to cover, pretty much cover our asses with that. However, if we didn't, I think my friend, my coworker's life would have at least, I'm not saying it'd be ruined, it could be, but I think it would have taken a turn for the worst. And that is truthfully a sad thing. So like I said, short video, I just kind of want to get off my chest how, you know, words can go a long way. Who knows how many people are in jail right now for being wrongfully accused. I've heard plenty of stories, but the number, who knows? There's not really a further point on this video. It's just kind of ranting about it. It's just, you know, it's sad to see that people I know personally have been severely <laughs> affected by this. And then some of my friends now were in a situation where it could have easily ended way worse than it did. So don't mean for this to be a sad video, but you know what? Sometimes it's gonna be these rants about more serious topics. So please let me know what you guys thought about this. I'll catch back up with you on the flip side. Well, thanks for tagging along. If you'd like to see a playlist of more serious videos, you can check out this right over here. If you wanna see my most recent video, there's one right over here. Check them out and drop a like because I'm looking more like a dominatrix than anything today. Thanks.